that first stalk in Tanzania. We got within bow range, you know, he was within 100, but he, he knew we were here, the jig was up, you know, and he wasn't gonna turn broadside for us, but heck, that was still fun, exciting, and uh, on to the next spot, so who knows? We just may get another heart of beast. That was pretty cool. Yeah, 100%. All right, let's roll. Good stuff, man. just switched on us unfortunately I mean right now you can see it's still blowing good but we had just one gust come through and he caught us we were so close we were within getting you know 50 yards of getting a shot and they were out in this open which is nice because with everything we've been seeing is out in the thick stuff man that's frustrating but man it's fun it's wild it's free ranging out here nothing's a guarantee and uh, we're definitely working hard on trying to get the first arrow in the air and uh, that was almost it. It was a nice bull, wasn't a giant, but still great, great trophy.
Yes, we have been trying to get a freaking heart of beast with the bow this whole trip. This is like day five or day six. And finally, we found a big bull and we got within bow range and got him. I mean, the shot is right on the shoulder, broken leg, should be right in the heart. And I, I held just because that other heart of beast, you could see his, his nose was right there. I didn't want to shoot that other heart of beast, so I, I held right onto the shoulder, which African animals, that's good. So I think, I think they're good. Look how worn and smooth they are in terms of how old he is. Look how his kicks are. Look at how, look at his bosses, how smooth they are. Oh, wow. See this here? And look how worn his tips are, too. I mean, that's an <laughs> ancient bull. That is so awesome. So what Lauren was saying is the older they get, the older they get, the more um, polished the bases are. It's truly amazing. And he's even got worn tips. This is an old, old mature bowl. This is exactly what you want to take. Yeah, I had to aim a little bit forward into the shoulder because of the because of that other bowl that was standing in front of him. I didn't want to hit the other one. And with this being literally my hippo bow that I killed a hippo with yesterday and shooting 90 pounds with a 570 grain arrow, I was confident on an animal this size, it would go right through that shoulder. And uh, it did its job and expired the animal really fast. So we're gonna get some photos and uh, and take a good look at this beast. So let's flip you over. Yeah, that is what it is. It's, it's, it's a third horn, man. Really? It's weird. That's super cool. So check this out. We got ourselves a something unique. So this guy has a third horn starting to grow out of his head. That's pretty crazy. Man. What a big body beast. And so, yeah, good heart shot went right in there. Man. Thank you, old friend. Everything we shoot in Africa will 100% go, not go to waste. So it's pretty amazing. Well, the work begins. So you can see we took a bunch of leaves and put in the back of the branches. And that's because the bed of the truck's hot and we want to keep the meat um, preserved. And so we, because we got a little bit of hike to get back to camp. And so yeah, this will keep the meat nice and cool. It's weird not helping, by the way. This is like very, very weird. But they, this is, this is what they love to do. This is their job. And... Oh man, I, I gotta go. I just gotta get in there. <laughs> Maybe how can you do it?